Today on Fossil Friday, we're going to take a look at some Batoid fossils. Now, what on earth is a Batoid? Batoidea is a superorder of fish that includes rays, skates, guitarfish, sawfish, and many others. Despite the odd shape and appearance of most of these animals, they are fish. Cartilaginous fish to be exact. Like their relatives, the sharks, Batoids have skeletons made of cartilage, which means finding a whole fossil is pretty rare, because the skeleton doesn't preserve as well as bones do. However, we do have some very well-preserved fossil teeth to show off today. Let's take a look at the various fossils from rays, guitarfish, and skates. Rays are the largest group of cartilaginous fish, with more than 600 species. Stingrays, bat rays, eagle rays are some of the familiar ones. This tooth is from a Cretaceous stingray in the genus Dasiatus from Texas. Ray teeth aren't as sharp and pointy as shark teeth. Instead, they're usually flatter on the top, so they can crush and eat smaller animals with shells like snails, clams, crustaceans, and worms. These two teeth are also Dasiatus, and are from Shark Tooth Hill. This larger crushing tooth is from Shark Tooth Hill, and is from the genus Myliobatus, which include eagle rays and bat rays. These crushers are called tooth plates, and you are looking at the smooth underside. When we flip it around, the rigid top of the tooth is exposed. This jagged structure is a very common look for ray tooth plates, and helps the animal grind and crush its food. Here we have another example of a smoother Myliobatus tooth plate. This one is from Belgium. This fossil is not a tooth. Instead, this is a piece of fossilized stingray barb from Sharktooth Hill. This, of course, is a barb on the end of the ray's tail, which is used for defense. Some stingrays can have up to three barbs on their whip-like tail, and depending on the species, the barb or spine may be coated with venom for extra defense. Moving on to the mobula teeth, a genus of ray that includes manta rays, Similar to large filter feeding sharks, mantas have very tiny teeth because they too are filter feeders. These mobula teeth are commonly found from Shark Tooth Hill. Rhinobatus or guitarfish look like a cross between a shark and a ray. They have flat bodies and instead of slender whip like tails, they have a tail fin closer resembling a shark's. But they are still part of the ray family, not sharks. This Cretaceous guitarfish comes from Texas and is very similar looking to the stingray tooth with the hooked root and flat crushing top. This final guitarfish tooth is the oldest batoid tooth in this video and is from the Jurassic period. This is a spathobatus guitarfish tooth from the UK. To end this video we will show off a rare skate tooth from the Cretaceous of Texas. Skates are very similar to rays in that they have similar flat body shapes. Skates usually have pointier noses and never have barbs on the end of the tail. The tail is also thicker compared to the slender stingray tail. Whether it's a type of ray, guitarfish, or skate, all these Batoid fossils tell a pretty incredible story. What was your favorite? See you next time on Fossil Friday.